Hey guys, so in this video I want to do something a little bit different. I haven't tried this before, so I'm going to redo it. I'm going to do it in the video, and then hopefully it'll be good enough to follow along. So think of it as like a live tutorial, but I'll, I'll edit it down so it's not too bad. Uh, what we're going to do in this one is create an FPS counter, which we can actually see while in VR, because when you try to check performance, it is so difficult, especially when you're on the Oculus Quest, to be able to monitor performance while you're in it and FPS and frame drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a widget that we can hopefully display in the scene and see while we're while we're in the world. So what I want to do first, I'm going to make a new folder. Called FPS counter. Then here I'm going to create a widget blueprint. So FPS counter widget. Cool. So we know we're going to need text. So I'm going to bring this in. Oh, I'll just drag it in. I'm going to set it to center. So I'm going to automatically scale it. Uh, what we want to do now is we, we know we need to change this text at runtime. So I'm going to create a binding and then promote this to a variable. It is text, but I believe we can convert this later on from a function. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to call it FPS counter. Compile. Cool. So we type something in here, it should show up. Save. Graph. Cool. Excellent. So now we need a way to display the counter. I'm trying to work out the best way to do it. We can let's just stick it on the headset. So what I'm gonna do is gonna blueprints motion controller pawn because we know we're gonna wanna we're gonna have it on the character, or at least directly in front. Um I've already got an arrow for a different project of like a different tutorial I'm working on at the minute. So I'm going to leave that and I'm going to actually use it as location. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add component, search for widget. That means we can actually see, we can display our widget in the scene. So go to widget class, I'm going to select it from widget counter. That's our text, 180. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and move it to the side. So if I press play now, we don't say anything because we're not actually setting any text. So if I go to back to the widget, I'm going to leave that open there. Um, our function, I'm going to do FPS, call it FPS counter. Cool. And hit play. So yeah, awesome. So <laughs> we. That was pretty good positioning. So we've got the counter and the screen, or the text anyway. What we need to do is we need to set this at runtime. So we need to set the text. The, what I'm thinking of doing, I don't know if I can get it in the character. Um, I might need a blueprint. I might need a level blueprint. Oh, I can actually just do some math. This is this is easier actually. So, didn't think of this. We're going to use the on tick. Obviously, performance is everything, so be really careful when you do this. And we're going to use the delta time. We're going to divide that yep, by float. Now we're going to divide it by one. I'm going to do it on the bottom. And then we're actually going to take our FPS counter, plug it in there. And just plug them in there. So if I hit play now and then start the headset. Nope. Takes a float. That might be white. Cool. Awesome. So we'll put the headset on. 
can actually see it in the top left. So we have an FPS counter. And then if I go back to widget and viewport, I'm actually going to change our color to black. That way it just stands out from the rest of the side or the rest of the content or the scene. Um, set that back to the standard motion controller. I'm going to bring it in a little bit because it's kind of difficult to see. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Play. Cool. So now I actually have an FPS counter in the editor while we're while we're debugging. Cool. So that's it. We've got it. We've got an FPS counter. I hope that I hope that's pretty useful. I've done this one in a different way. I didn't didn't practice it first, but um, I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, it's going to definitely help me in the future. Especially being able to headset and then see where there's some performance decrease. So it's looking good. Awesome. You see it follows. Then yeah. Excellent. If you're new to the channel, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe. That way you can keep up to date on new videos that are coming out. Um there's also we also have a Discord, which is slowly getting bigger. Uh we've got quite a few people in it now who are showing off what they're working on in Unreal. Uh, it's a good place to just get some help and feedback on content or anything, or even just hang out. Um, so yeah, I hope that was a, I hope this was useful and a good one to do. So yeah, awesome. So you'll be for the Discord. I'll leave a link in the description below. And um, if you like this video, please leave a like. If there's anything you want to see in the future or you've got any questions about, just drop a message in the comment section or jump over to the Discord, and I'll have a look at it there. Awesome. Bye.